Hi, hello, how are you children? Welcome back to my class. During this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths. That is division. Open page number 8. Page number 8, chapter number 2, division. So children, already we have started this lesson. So don't worry, you will get all those videos links in my description box. So just do check it out. Okay. So now let's start. Exercise 2.1 that is there on page number 18. So already we have completed 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and in the 5th main we have completed 1st one, 2nd and the 3rd one. Right. Now let's start with the 4th one. Okay. So let's read this question. Mr. Sridhar purchased 11 toys of same price for rupees 946. From a toy shop, find the cost of each toy. So, Mr. Sridhar, he has purchased 11 toys of same price for Rs. 946. So, in 946, Mr. Sridhar, he has purchased 11 toys. Okay, now you have to find out that what is the cost of each toy. Okay, so let's do it. First, we have to write the particulars, right? So, what will be your first sentence? So, here you can see Mr. Sridhar purchased 11 toys of same price for rupees 946. So, number of toys purchased. How many toys have been purchased? 11, right? So, cost of 11 toys is 946, right? So, number of toys purchased. Yes, how many toys have been purchased? 11 right so we'll write 11 here the second sentence should be cost of 11 toys so we'll write here cost of 11 toys how much it is it is rupees 946 right now what you have to find out you have to find out the cost of each toy so we'll write here cost of each toy it will be a question mark right Yes. So, let's do it. Number of toys purchased. How many? 11. Cost of 11 toys is how much? It is 946. So, 946 it, will, it has to be divided by 11. Right. So, now you have to read the 11 table till you get the number 9. Do you get the 9 number in 11 table? No. Why? Because 9 is less than 11. So, in this case, what you have to do? You have to take the next number. So, now it will become 94. So, let's read the 9 table till you get the number 94. 11 ones are 11. You have to read the 11 table. Okay. So, 11 ones are 11. 11 twos are 22. 11 threes are 33. 11 fours are 44. 11 fives are 55. 11 six are 66. 11 sevens are 77, 11, 8 is 88, 11, 9 is 99. You can see here. Uh, so, I will write this uh, table here. I am not going to write the full table. Just I will write the 11, 8 is 88. And 11, 9 is how much? It is 99. If you see here, 94, it lies between 88 and 94. Because 99 is a bigger and the 88 is a smaller. So, which one you have to take? You have to take the smaller one. So, 11, 8 is 88. So, we will write here, 11, 8 is 88. Right? So, let us subtract it. 4 minus 8. Do you, is it possible to subtract 8 from 4? No. What you have to do? You have to borrow one from the next place. So, this will become 8 and this will become what? 14. So, 14 minus 8 is how much? Yes. Yes, tell me fast. 14 minus 8 is how much? It is 6. Right. Very good. So, 6. Now, 8 minus 8 is 0. So, now you have to bring down the next number. That, that is 6. So, now it will become 66. Now, you have to read the 11 table till you get the number 66. So, let us read it. 11 ones are 11, 11 twos are 22, 11 threes are 33, 11 fours are 44, 11 fives are 55, 11 six are 66. So, 11 six are, 11 six are 66, right? So, let us subtract it. 6 minus 6 is how much? It is 0. Again, 6 minus 6 is 0. Next, so again, same 0 as it is. 0. So, what is your answer? It is 
86 so therefore the cost of each toy is how much it is rupees 86 right so let's write it here therefore the cost of each toy is it is rupees 86 you know what is this this is a symbol of rupee right so rupees 86 rupees understood children okay now let's move to the next one it is the next fifth one we have completed this fourth now next fifth the annual income of a person is rupees 90912 can you read this 90912 find his monthly income so the annual income annual means what the yearly income okay so a person he earns 90912 annually means yearly you have to find out his monthly income his monthly salary okay so what let's first what you have to do first you have to write the particular so let's write it so what will be our first sentence here annual income of a person is equal to rupees 90912 okay so let's write it so annual income of a person is how much rupees is 90912 right yes so next sentence here if you see the question the annual income of a person is 90912 find his monthly income so we have to find out the monthly income so what we have to do first we have to see the number of months in a year so how many months will be there in a one year it is 12 right so that we have to write okay so here we'll write number of number of months in a year is how many 12 months right so what you have to find out you have to find out a monthly income of a person so we'll write here monthly income of a person it is a question mark that you have to find out okay so let's do it so here annual income of a person is how much it is 90912 so number of months in a year that is 12 so you have to divide it by 12 so you'll get the monthly income of a sing one month income okay so let's do it you have to read which table 12 table till you get the number 9 do you get 9 no because 9 is smaller than the 12 So you have to take a zero, so it will become ninety. Now you have to read the twelve table till you get the number ninety. Okay, let's read it. Twelve ones are twelve. Twelve twos are twenty-four. Twelve threes are thirty-six. Twelve fours are forty-eight. Twelve fives are sixty. Twelve sixes are seventy-two. Twelve sevens are eighty-four. Twelve eights are ninety-six. So here I will write it. Twelve eights are sorry. Twelve sevens are. I will write first. Twelve sevens are how much? Eighty-four. Twelve eights are how much? It is ninety six. If you see the ninety, the ninety it lies between eighty four and the ninety six. If you take ninety six, it is bigger than the ninety, so you cannot take. Which you have to take? You have to take the lesser number. So eighty four is the lesser number. So twelve sevens are eighty four. So I will write here twelve sevens are eighty four. So let's subtract it. Zero minus four. Can you subtract four from four? Uh, four uh, from zero? No, you cannot. What you have to do? You have to borrow one from this place. Means it will become eight, and this will become ten, right? So ten minus four is how much? It is six. Next, eight minus eight is zero, right? Now you have to bring down the next number nine. So now it will become sixty-nine. Now you have to read the twelve table till you get the number sixty-nine. So let's read it. Twelve ones are twelve. Twelve twos are twenty-four. Twelve threes are thirty-six. Twelve fours are forty-eight. Twelve fives are sixty. Twelve sixes are seventy-two. So here twelve fives are. What is twelve fives are sixty? Twelve sixes are how much? Twelve sixes are seventy-two. So here sixty-nine. It lies between sixty and the seventy. If you take seventy, sorry, seventy-two. If you take seventy-two, it is bigger than the sixty-nine, so you cannot take. Now you have to take which number? The lesser, that is sixty. So twelve fives are sixty. So this will take twelve fives are sixty. Okay. Now let's subtract it. Nine minus zero is how much? It is nine. Six minus six is zero. Zero same as it is your third because we do not have any of the number means we consider it as zero only. So zero minus zero is zero. Now you have to bring down the next number that is one. So it will become ninety one. Now you have to read the twelve table till you get the number ninety one. So let's read it. 
12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48, 12 fives are 60, 12 six are 72, 12 sevens are 84, 12 eights are 96. So again if you see here, 12 sevens are 84, 12 eights are 96. So which number you have to take? You have to take the this one. No, this one because it is a lesser one. 96 is greater than 91. So you are not supposed to take this number. You have to take the 84. So 12 sevens are 84. So, I'll write 12 sevens are here 84. Okay. So, let's subtract it. 1 minus 4. Is it possible? No. You cannot subtract 4 from home because it is a bigger than the 1. So, in this case, you have to borrow 1 from this place. So, it will become 8 and this will become what? 11. Now, you have to subtract 11. Sorry, you have to subtract 4 from 11. So, what will be your answer? Is yes, subtract it and tell me. Yes, it is 7. Very good. 7. So, 8 minus it is 0. Again, 0 as it is and 0 as it is. Okay. So, 11 minus 4 is 7. 8 minus 8 is 0. Again, 0. Same as it is 0. Okay. Now, we, have, we are having one more number. So, bring it down. 2. So, it will become 72. Now, you have to read the 12 table till you get the number 72. So, 12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48, 12 fives are 60, 12 six are 72. So, 12 six are 72. Right. So, let's subtract it. 2 minus 2 is 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. Again, same this 0 as it is, this 0 as it is, this 0 as it is. So, what is your answer? 7576 is your answer. So, this is your answer. Means the monthly income of a person is how much? It is 7576 7, rupees. So, let's write it here. Therefore, he is monthly. Or instead of that, you can write that a person's monthly. Okay, he is or a person both are same. So, his monthly income is how much? It is rupees. Yes, tell me. 7000 576 rupees isn't it so this is your answer okay now let's move to the next and the last one one a car manufacturing company manufactures 14820 cars in 13 months 13 months find the number of cars manufactured in one month so there is one car company so that car company it manufactures 14,820 cars in how many months? In 13 months. So, now you have to find out the number of cars manufactured in one month. Understood? So, let's write the particulars first. So, what will be your answer? Um, I mean, the uh, sentence, the first sentence should be like this. Number of cars manufactured. How many? It is 14,820. Right? So, let's write it here. So, here it is the number of car manufacturer. It is 14,820. Right. Next. Second one. Here if you see uh, cars in 13 months. So, a time taken to manufacture. How much time it has been taken to uh, manufacture 14,820 cars? It is 13 months. So, that we have to write here. Time taken for manufacture. That is 13 Right. Next one. What you have to find out? Find the number of cars manufactured in one month. So, here number of. So, here number of cars manufactured in one month. So, that will be a question mark that you have to find out. Okay. So, let's do it. So, first one here that I am going to write 14,820 divided by 13. You have to read the 13 table. Okay, so let's do it. Here if you see the last number, there is a 1 is there, right? So, you cannot sub, uh, divide 1 by 13. So, you have to take next number, it will become 14, right? So, you have to read the 13 table till you get the number 14. So, if you read 13 ones are 13, 13 twos are 26. So, 13 ones are 13 is a smaller than the 26. So, you have to take the first. So, 13 ones are 13. So, 13 ones are 13, right? So, you have to subtract it. 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. You have to bring the next number down. That is 18. So it will be uh, that is 8. So it will become 18, right? You have to read the 13 table till you get the number what? 18. 
सो थर्टीन वन जार थर्टीन थर्टीन टू जार ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगेन ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज अ बिगर दैन द एटीन सो वॉट यू हैव टू टेक यू हैव टू टेक द लेस एन नंबर सो थर्टीन वन जार थर्टीन सो थर्टीन वन जार अगेन थर्टीन राइट सो लेट सब्रैक्ट इट एट माइनस थ्री इज हाउ मच इट इज फाइव वेरी गुड राइट नेक्स्ट वन माइनस वन इज जीरो एंड दिस अगेन जीरो नाउ यू हैव टू ब्रिंग डाउन द नेक्स्ट नंबर दैट इज टू नॉट विल बिकम वॉट फिफ्टी टू राइट यू हैव टू रीड द थर्टीन टेबल टेली गेट द नंबर फिफ्टी टू सो लेट्स रीड इट थर्टीन वन जार थर्टीन थर्टीन टू जार ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टीन थ्री जार थर्टी नाइन थर्टीन फोर जार फिफ्टी टू सो थर्टीन फोर जा थर्टीन फोर जा फिफ्टी टू राइट सो लेक्स टू माइनस टू इज जीरो फाइव माइनस फाइव जीरो जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इज जीरो नेक्स्ट हैव टू ब्रिंग डाउन द नेक्स्ट नंबर दैट इज जीरो सो कैन यू सब डिवाइड जीरो बाय थर्टीन नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो इन दिस केस व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू गिव वन जीरो हियर एंड दैट जीरो हियर सो लेट सप्रैक्ट इट जीरो माइनस जीरो इज जीरो जीरो माइनस जीरो इज जीरो कैन यू सी हियर येस सो दिस जीरो इज जीरो सीन द जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इज जीरो so what is your answer your answer is 1140 1140 is your answer so therefore i write here therefore number of cars manufactured in one month is how much it is sorry uh, how many it is 1140 so let's write it here so therefore the number of cars manufactured in one month is it is 100 Sorry, one thousand one hundred and forty cars. So this is your answer. Understood? Okay. Today's class we have completed the uh, fourth, fifth, and the sixth problem from the fifth main. That is all the following problems. I hope you understood, and uh, I hope that you come to know how to solve the problems related to the only division. Okay. So with this we have completed all the exercise. part that is 12 uh, 2.1 part okay so in the next class we are going to uh, continue the next and the last concept of this lesson that is problem involving both multiplication and division operations okay so children till then take care of yourself be with me and uh, how do you feel about my video let me know in the comment section so if this video is really useful to you don't forget to like share and do subscribe my channel till then bye bye